there is a very useful form of selection where we simply use a question to decide whether we want to do something or not. That kind of selection is sometimes called unary selection. The way that it works is that we ask a question, much like we did with binary selection, and if the question is true, then we perform some task. But if the question is false, we simply go on to whatever we were going to do in the next statement. And so in a sense, if the question is false, we simply skip out of the if statement and continue on normally, whereas if the question was true, we perform the statement in the true part before we go on. This particular structure then has an if, but it doesn't have an else clause. So let's look at the similar example to what we looked at last time. Let's have two variables. Again, I'll refer x to 5 and y to 10. And now I'm going to write x less than y, print smaller. But now, instead of having an else, I'm simply going to have additional statements in the main part of the program. So let's print that we are done. Now what we're trying to understand is the flow of control for this particular form of selection. And so when we run this program, what we'll notice is that it prints the word smaller and then it prints the word done. The reason for this is because if x is 5 and y is 10, x less than y, 5 less than 10 is true, so we go to the true part and we print the word smaller. We're then done with the if statement and so we continue on and print the word done. Again, there are four statements in this program, two assignment statements, one selection statement, and then one print statement. But now, if we were to change the program so that x was larger than y, if x less than y will fail. So we won't print the word smaller, but that's all there is. The if statement is now complete. And so we simply skip right on and perform this print statement. And so the fact that x less than y fails means that we don't do anything. We simply go on to the next sequential step. And so when I run this program, we see that we only print the word done. The print for the string smaller never occurred because the selection selected away from it. Now because there's no else, we don't perform a different task because the question failed. Again, it's a case where there's a true part, but there is no false part. This can be a very, very useful selection structure, especially if you're trying to decide between doing something or not doing something. Remember, in the binary selection, we're trying to choose between doing one thing versus doing something else. But in a unary selection, the choice is very different. We either want to perform a task or we don't want to do anything. Either way, we continue on to the next statement in sequence.